Welcome to the Michiana Business Podcast, where we put local legends and businesses in the spotlight for everyone in our area to see. If you love small businesses and success stories, then you're in the right place. You're listening to the Michiana Business Podcast with your friends, hosts, and owners of industrial office cleaning right here in Michiana, Caitlin and Alonzo Perdomo. Hi guys, welcome to Michelle Business Podcast. Again, we have a really great guest today. Uh, you don't have to, you don't want to miss this uh, episode because a, about, a lot about concrete. So don't forget the uh, the sponsor of this podcast is Industrial Office Cleaning. Um, if you need any cleaning or disinfected, uh, don't forget to call 574-310-7782. I always get nervous. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, Ryan, can you introduce yourself and help me a little bit because I'm kind of nervous again? Yes, sir. Thank you for the opportunity to represent Robert Jeans Corporation um, uh, Concrete Contractors. My name is Ryan Jeans, and I am fourth generation uh, in the concrete industry, in residential concrete. Leonard Lee Jeans, my great-grandfather, started the business with my grandpa, Robert Jeans Sr., um, in 1959. And so, uh, obviously, through the years, it's, uh, it's carried on. Um, and L.L. Jeans Construction then was taken over by my great-uncle Rocky Jeans, which, um, if you're in the area or even around the country, um, most people know who Rocky Jeans is. Um, he's uh, very influential in the business world, um, and he uh, took the business to uh, a whole nother level. Um, and that was more in, in industrial and commercial uh, concrete work. Um, my grandfather then um, kept uh, or started Robert Jeans Corporation and he did more residential concrete and stayed more on the residential side. Um, and so in um, 2016, um, uh, Uncle Rocky decided to uh, close LL Jeans and then uh, move more into uh, um, another portion of business, a business school and, and et cetera. So now uh, we number for LL Jeans rings into our office, um, which is exciting um, for more industrial and commercial um, aspects uh, of, of work. However, um, our bread and butter and our favorite thing to do is to meet homeowners and do residential tear out and replace. Um, and that's what we've done for many, many years. So um, that's just just a little history of, of our company. I'm actually uh, in my 14th year, believe it or not. I know I look 17, but... <laughs> very young. You look very young. <laughs> um, but I started, uh, started full-time at 16. Um, and uh, I actually got asked a question yesterday on... Uh, like, what's your education? I said, well, I did graduate from high school, so that's a good thing. Um, but <laughs> For sure. I, yeah, but I didn't uh, didn't go to college or anything. Um, so so, I, so let, let, me, okay. let me stop you there and ask you this question. Well, what was going through your mind when you started working at uh, 16 years old? How, how did that start? How did that motivate you? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So everybody like, it. oh, wow, that's pretty interesting. Sure. So... Um, there's there's pictures of uh, of my uh, my family my dad and my uncles uh, actually I was two or three years old throwing me across the driveway of a ten a ten foot driveway um, and being out on the job so I grew up around uh, around concrete and going to work with my dad and whatnot um, but uh, I always in, I always enjoyed it um, but at at eighteen. Um, I said, you know what? Concrete works hard. Um, I'm a small, uh, 135 pound kid and I, I don't know if I like this. So I asked <laughs> my dad, I said, dad, can I go, um, can I go work for another contractor? And he, he's like, sure, son, it's not a problem. I'm, I guarantee it hurt him, you know? Um, yeah. but he's like, no, go ahead. That's, that's not a problem. So I worked for, um, uh, one of my dad's good friends, a siding contractor for one week. After that week, I came home on Friday and I was like, dad, I want to come back to work. <laughs> and I, I, at that point, I knew, I knew what I was supposed to do. Um, and so it's always, always been, always been in us. You know, we were like, why didn't grandpa, you know, get into it? 
and do uh, do computer work because it seems like it's easier physically for sure. Um, yeah. But it's uh, you know we get to meet new people every day and and do what we do what we enjoy doing. So. Yeah, I think I think the computer tech is like a for um, not for everybody. Some yeah. people join it to be in the field. Some people join it to uh, get dirty get, uh, with the team. Uh, uh, spend that time because it's very valuable to build relationships with your team and also with the clients. So when you hide in the office, some some people love that. I, I don't love that. I, I want to be involved and get dirty, get all over, and absolutely a stronger team. I think. Anyway, it's all about you, buddy. Uh, so let me ask you a couple questions related to what I have here, so uh, we can uh, refer to the topic. What, what do you guys specialize? Like uh, just residential or, or every like uh, every aspect of the uh, the country? Sure, good question. So we uh, we specialize in residential tear out and right. replace. Um, we uh, we like going in and removing old and putting in new. Um, and so we do some commercial, we do some industrial, um, uh, but we specialize in residential concrete. So driveways, sidewalks, patios, steps, etc. cetera. Um, obviously we pour, uh, you know, your regular broom finish concrete. Um, but in residential, we hand tool our control joints, um, which, uh, versus saw cutting, which gives it more of a residential feel and it helps us put our uh our stamp on on the project if you may say and then we also um uh, we do decorative concrete so exposed aggregate which is a pea gravel type uh special mix um and then stamped and colored concrete which is really oh, wow. popular on like patios um even borders for driveways um so there's a lot of different uh, aspects in that. We also do um, uh, stain, concrete staining. So if you don't like the look of a bright white gray concrete, um, mm -hmm. we can color the concrete as well. So we pour an uh, integral color um, that comes from uh, our supplier, Kurt Concrete, and then we seal it with the color sealer. So it gets a full deep, color of uh, whatever it may be a tan brown ish or a gray a darker gray so those are a few few things okay so so let me ask you this because i'm i'm curious too like uh, is there any way that we can um uh, make um the concrete last longer like uh, let's say for example like a uh, some kind of maintenance that you refer to the concrete inside the garage or in the driveway what, what, what do you think you recommend to keep it life looking good looking beautiful for anybody that come into your house or your facility that you work for sure absolutely that's such a great question because um we've a few years ago my cousin and i remington uh, which mm -hmm. is our project manager and he's doing a phenomenal job um in, in that in that aspect so um we then took kind of took the reins of the day-to-day -day operations um and we we thought you know Concrete maintenance is something that is uh, is not thought of. You know, once concrete is poured, you think it's indestructible. Um, yeah. you, know, you think that, well, nobody's going to steal it. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it will crack, yes. Um, but if it's installed properly, if it's got the correct base um, and, and compacted, it's the correct thickness with wire mesh and seal. Um, then it, it should last you uh, quite a long time. So with that being said, uh, concrete maintenance, we started a concrete maintenance division. Um, I believe it was spring of 2019. Um, and it's growing, growing exceptional right now. And we're super excited for that. Um, so uh, some have signed up for a yearly maintenance, which is power washing and sealing, mm -hmm. um, putting a penetrating sealer on the concrete, which is not going to allow moisture in, in the salts and chemicals from the street um, to get into the pores of the concrete and then uh, cause scaling and, and, and popping like that. Um, also doing uh, caulking either the control joints if they're open, uh, you know, opened up, um, and then making sure that um, caulk, uh, urethane sealant is installed at the driveway the garage driveway 
construction joint there. So yeah, we're actually really trying to push that concrete maintenance side of things, especially on all of the work that we're doing now, because it's an investment. Concrete's an investment, oh, yeah, um, for sure. but it's not indestructible. And that is, you know, uh, setting those expectations for our clients. Like, you know, if you maintain this correctly and we can help you with that, it's we're a phone call away. You know, we can help you maintain your concrete and last you for, you know, 30 years. Um, that's that's the goal. So, yeah. So since you mentioned uh, it's one follow, phone call away, can you throw our uh, your information up there so they can reach you? Um, yes. If they can go a website. Um, uh, whatever you want to say so they can reach you because I'm sure a lot of people right now are going to watch this video and they're going like, wait, what is the maintenance for concrete? Let me call these guys because I'm very interested. Because it's a lot of, a lot of money that you put into a driveway or a concrete work. So I think a lot of people want to hear the information if you can throw it up there. Absolutely. Um, you can go to uh, robertgenecorp.com um, and, and then fill out an estimate uh, form there and that would contact our office. Um, or call 574-247-1961, um, and you will get uh, our office manager, Wendy. Um, she works uh, five days a week here at the office. Um, we are a smaller business. We have 11 employees. However, we, we want to be – so many contractors get there in small business there – doing everything they're estimating they're you know doing the work they're trying to answer the phone calls etc we've been uh we're very thankful and blessed to be able to have full-time office staff to be able to answer the phone call and for uh for us to come out meet with you and consult with you on your concrete work so that is that is awesome that's like uh making already the uh, you say you are guys are small but you have a really plan now figured out what piece area had to be playing and able to give the service that the client deserve. Because if, in my opinion, I think we had to know if we can give the right service to the person and we had to plan out all the way around how this thing is running, running and everybody gets the results that they want. Absolutely. With that said, let me ask you this question. Right now, uh, um, how did you guys get affected with COVID-19? Did you guys just slow down or you guys are still uh, doing well or... Yeah, I'll let you answer that, and then I continue asking more questions because I have a lot of questions. <laughs> sure, absolutely. absolutely. Um, so, in the spring of 20, 2020, well, let me back. At the end of twenty nineteen, we had uh, we carried over about two months worth of work into spring of twenty twenty. So we had we had work, um, but estimates um, from uh, in the spring of twenty nineteen and the spring of twenty twenty were almost exactly the same. So we didn't, we didn't lose uh, in that aspect. We did, however, um, we, we had to struggle with uh, Michigan being shut down. And so our schedule was kind of whacked out for a little while. Um, but we can, most of all of us are family. Um, I think three, three or four of the employees are not family. So most of us are all, all family. So we're all together, um, we're outside. We can socially distance without, I mean, we do that on the daily, you know, so um, even meeting with clients. Um, so we actually seen an increase of work because of COVID-19. People are home and they're taking the money that they were going to spend on vacation and putting it into their home. And I think across, across the construction industry, people are seeing um, an increase in sales and et cetera. This year on 20. 2021 from 2019 and 2020 springtime estimates we've seen a hundred more estimates this year and we average about 600 estimates a year and because of our schedule it's uh we're booking in september right now for just your normal concrete work um and if, for me to come out is um, about three weeks for for an estimate so it's it's crazy you know so most of us in the crew, our family, when we did get COVID, most all of us did. Um, thankfully, everybody was good, stayed safe. Um, so I can say Robert Jeans Corporation did very, very well through the pandemic. And and uh, it was we were successful and we're thankful for that. Yeah, a lot of people got hit. A lot of people, um, it was really hurt. But I think, well, I don't know if I say this correctly or maybe people think it is a, 
the other way around. But I think if you prefer like all the systems you have in you and your corporate, like uh, everybody's doing little piece in there, is one mm-hmm. is still increase. And yes, COVID nineteen for some people was really harsh, and for others then it. But it's all about like how you take it. How are you gonna approach all the hard times if you prefer? Uh, of course, everything jump out of nowhere sometimes, and you're like, okay, how do I prepare? So you got to kind of focus in, in the good things that you got got going on and how do you mind focus and trying to figure out solutions, not just like sit down and like, okay, this is it. So yes. it's, that's that's really good. It's a blessing to be like you guys prepare and continue pushing forward. So let yes. me ask you this other question. Like uh, how how often is say like you get a job uh, or you have a new schedule? Um, if you have like the schedule for today, let's say if you got a concrete work today, is that happening the right then? Or let's say like you call and something go wrong and you push a little far, or how does that work? Sure, uh, if I understand your question. So uh, we, yeah, we are booking in September um, and we have multi, sometimes three jobs a week, you know? And That's- so in order to, uh, to meet that, uh, to meet that schedule, um, weather is, I mean, it's, we're all dictated on weather, our, our company. So yep. today it's raining. Um, you know, we poured footings this morning on a project that actually next door. Um, so it's kind of a fit in because uh, it's our, it's our neighbor. Um, so we, we did that, uh, covered it. Everything's going to be good there, but our scheduled work that we're supposed to be on, we're not there, you know? Um, and so uh, we, we kind of, uh, don't schedule anything on Fridays, um, any work on Fridays, just for that reason. Um, so we can stay on schedule because when we tell you that we're going to be there on um, August 9th, Monday, August 9th, we always obviously put that caveat in there, weather permitting. Um, but we will stay in touch with you. Our, our, our office staff here will contact you and let you know a week-ish in advance are we going to be there? Um, you know, feel free to reach out and, and ask us if we're still on schedule because some people take off work. They want to, you know, see how the project goes, et cetera. So, um, um, so communication is top priority with, with us. And, it, you know, all people want to know is, are you on schedule? Are you going to be on time, et cetera? And we do our dead level best, even three months out. If we say we're going to be there August 9th, we're gonna we're gonna be there. Awesome. The 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 answer my other question if you have a crew re- reliable to go there, but you already answered that one, so I cannot ask you that one. Uh, so <laughs> let me ask you this other question then. What is the what is the typical questions that, that a homeowner or um, a corporation ask you about uh, the concrete work when you go in an estimate? Sure. Um, setting expectations for for a customer is so important. A lot of people don't know what goes into concrete. Um, they just, they see it. They see the top of the concrete, that's it. So, so some of the questions we're asked are, how thick is the concrete gonna be? That's probably the most asked question is how thick is it gonna be? Standard driveways, patios are four inches thick. Approach is six inches thick. Anything that's not in the city work has wire mesh, six by six by 10 welded wire mesh with number three, three eight screw bar wrapping the edges. That's something that we've done, um, you know, since the company was started. That's to help control cracking, et cetera. And I'm getting off, getting off your question. So how thick is it gonna be? Um, what type of mix do you use? Um, and that is a 4,000 PSI six back blended limestone from Kurt. Um, maintenance. What do what do we have to do uh, after it's poured? Um, so, how uh, when can we drive on it? When can we walk on it? Major questions, and that's again seven days um, af- uh, after the final pour. You can drive on it. You can walk on it within twenty four hours, depending on temperatures. So, those are some of the probably most asked questions. If you're in the Michiana area and would like to have us put your business or story out there for everyone to hear, sign up at michianabusinesspodcast.com. Until next time, thanks for listening.